Okay, so say you wanna you have a box in layout and you want an animated texture applied to it. Well, the easiest way is to just simply use uh, Photoshop record screen record the motion. So we'll just hide this, hitting chaps lock, and draw something. So you'll have to remove the brush though later on in post if well. Or, well, actually, you don't need to do it in post. You couldn't do it in Lightroom, too. You could hide this one with a marker pen. It's up to you, really, how you want to go about that. So, you could also achieve something, well, not quite similar to this, but you could achieve something somewhat similar to this by using... Uh, particle paint and marker pad. But the problem with that is that uh, uh, the leaves would actually have exactly the same uh, size. So uh, I'm not sure if that's, well, what you would want. But there's even another method. And what you could do is that could actually make it possible to make these uh, things three-dimensional as well. So what you do is pretty much the same. You just make an animated uh, brush stroke. So I'm, I'm not going to do it right now, but the result of that brush stroke will look, I don't know, maybe something like this. So this will then, this animated brush stroke will then be the morph displacement map, the morph displacement map that will drive the size of the leaves and place them as well. So that's actually another option. But uh, in order to make a brush stroke, it's actually the easiest way is actually to do something like this, just screen recorded in Photoshop and then applied to the object in layout.